Under the first caution flag of the night here in Nashville, Gio Ruggiero started from the pole, bounced it off the turn one wall. Bounced it off the turn one wall. William Sawalich circulating behind the pace car with the lead here in the early going in the Music City 150. Arkham Art Series East round number three. In the early going here, William Sawalich with the lead. Isabella Robusto up to second here in the early going. Welcome back to Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway, working the first caution flag of the night, and there you see why. Pole sitter, Gio Ruggiero, point leader into the turn one wall early in the going, and it looks like that's going to be terminal damage for the driver of that number 20 Venerini Motorsports Toyota. Let's take a look at what happened. Keep an eye on the car, fourth in line. Dives off into turn number one, and there you're going to see that left rear tire down and Gio bouncing it off the outside wall. Tough, tough break. Another look at it from the turn three camera. Closing in on Connor Zilich, and away she went. Connor Zilich, of course, coming off the big win at Dover Motor Speedway a couple of weeks ago. Just three points behind Gio Ruggiero in the Arkham Arts East Championship standings. Not what Gio was looking for tonight, but uh, a big break for Connor Zilich and and for William Sawalich, who currently leads here tonight. William had a short day up at, and let's take a look. There may have been some contact there in that pass between Connor Zilich and Gio Ruggieri. See that car very sideways through turn four there, left rear. May have been cut down as Connor Zilich was working his way past Gio Ruggiero, but in any case, it certainly was down by the time he got down into turn one, and that sent Geo on a wild ride into the turn one wall, and it will be a short day for the driver who led the standings coming into tonight. And we'll have to see how it shakes out here once we're done here in the Music City. Appreciate you joining us here live on Flow Racing. My name is Charlie Crawl. Appreciate you hanging with us while we were dealing with some technical issues here in the early going. Looks like we are set to go back. Green flag racing lights off on the pace truck. William Sawalich and Isabella Robusto, our bounty rookie spotlight driver, outside the front row here for this restart. Mark Honkamp bringing the pace truck down onto pit road, and we'll get back underway here. Still very early in the going, and how about that? Isabella Robusto with the jump on the restart. She's going to try to lead the field down into turn one. Can't make it stick. Gio Ruggiero going to, or excuse me, not Gio Ruggiero, William Sawalich going to jump back out into the lead. It might be a miracle if Gio was able to jump out into the, into the lead on this one. But uh, here comes William Sawalich to lead the way as we come to complete lap 16. 
Battle for position just outside the top five. Zachary Tinkle looking racy tonight. And Andy Hillenberg's number 11. Almost thought we were going to stack them three wide there. Don't get that racy that early. Andrew Patterson there in the 96 car making his East Series debut. Battling for that fifth position with Zachary Tinkle. Tyler Schofield in the mix as well in the 07. Tyler sliding to the inside of Patterson to take over that spot. May have been a little contact there off of turn two. Some hard racing here in the early going. Zachary Tinkle with a career best qualifying run here tonight. And he is backing it up with a strong performance. Up to fourth. Tyler Schofield up into the fifth spot. And Andrew Patterson part of a two car effort for the Mark Noble owned Man Motorsports team here tonight. Teammate Hunter Wright. Got a lot of experience here at this racetrack. I'm sure we'll have a chance to talk about Hunter, driver of the number 95 car here in a little bit. Here's Tyler Schofield in the 07 as we jump back up to the front of the field. Checking in with William Sowalich. William, as I was saying a few moments ago, his run at Dover cut short. Is Isabella with a nice save there off of turn two. William Sowalich battling for the lead, got a little contact. And up into the fence at Dover Motor Speedway. Finished outside the top ten for the first time in his East Series career. Rebound here tonight. Looking good here in the early going, but he cannot shake Isabella Robusto. Isabella with a great run here in the early going. And that number 55 car, the second Venerini Motorsports entry here tonight. Here's a look at Andrew Patterson in the 96 car. And how about the driver of that number 42? It has been a tough season for the Cook Racing Technologies group and this young man, Tyler, or excuse me, Tanner Reif. Tanner in the 42, they had some engine issues earlier today, made the change right after practice, missed qualifying, started at the tail end of the field. And right off the get-go, Tanner had to bring that car down pit road. You saw the crew under the hood. Whatever the issues were, seem to be fixed, but unfortunately, those problems have cost Tanner Reif a couple of laps in the process. Tanner's shown back at the 16th position, five laps down. And I'll tell you what, if they can get that monkey off their back, they got cars that can win races, they've got the speed, they just need to get the luck go along with it. There's the battle back up at the front of the field. It looks like William Sawalich starting to build that advantage ever so slightly now over Isabella Robusto in that 55 car. Isabella, Isabella still hanging tight. But, uh, about a third of a straightaway behind William as we now have 25 laps in the books. Keeping an eye on the 42 car. Not a battle for position, but wow. Tanner Reif in the 42 working his way back towards the front of the field in that 42 car. Maybe he can pick up a couple of here. Try to work his way back into contention, maybe for a top 10 finish. As they work around Rita Goulet. Rita hugging the bottom side of the racetrack there down in turns one and two. Zachary Tinkle in that number 11 car. Doing a fine job here in the early going, holding on to the fourth position. Zachary qualified a career best fifth earlier today. He's feeling some pretty serious heat there from Tanner Reif. Tanner showing a little bit of steam out of the overflow there. That car with the backup engine running a little warm here in the early going. He may have to bring that car back down hit road. You don't normally see steam coming out the overflow. The grill is unobstructed. Don't see any don't see any obstructions on the front grill of that number 42 car. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on Tanner Wright as he 
continues to log some laps. Again, Tanner, unfortunately, five laps down. Back in now the 14th position. He has to work his way back up into a top 10 position for the finish here tonight. As we were unfortunately experiencing some technical difficulties, just want to get you caught up. Gio Ruggiero was the General Tire Pole Award winner earlier tonight. Let's take a look. Actually, let's take a look at that scene post qualifying as we see Tanner Reif into the tire barrier down at the inside of the pit wall. That's going to put us under the caution flag for the second time here tonight. Tanner was experience, experiencing some difficulties with overheating. Tried to get that car onto pit road. Couldn't quite make it. And it impacted the tire barrier there at the entrance to pit road. Oh, we were just about to tell you about the the long day that this team has already had, and it has gone from bad to worse for Tanner Reif. See him climbing out of that car. You can tell just by the body language, visibly frustrated. AMR safety team alongside. He's going to have to make a visit to, uh, to those safety workers. Going to have to pop in the back of the ambulance there. But, uh, boy, let's take a look at what happened. Here's Tanner down the back stretch, a little loose. There you see the steam, that steam getting a lot worse out of the overflow. And he was trying to bring it down onto pit road and couldn't get it slowed down and into the tire barrier. Window net coming down immediately. Here's another look from the, the front straightaway camera. Down on the bottom side of the racetrack, no grip down there on the flat of the racetrack. And uh, that tire barrier doing exactly what it's meant to do. But wow, a tough, tough day for Bruce Cook and Tanner Reif in the 42 car. Of course, this is the team that won the owner's championship in the Arkham Menards West last season. One more look at it there. And look at that tire. Heavy duty farm tire bouncing that race car back up the racetrack. Heavy damage to the front nose and the safety crew on the scene removing that number 42 car that has put us under the caution flag for the second time here tonight gonna be a couple of minutes to get this car off the racetrack so while we do have some time we'll jump away for another quick break when we come back we'll reset the field and race on here in the Music City 150. Stick with us. This is Jimmy Butler. And this is Jimmy Butler's butler. Jimmy Butler loves Hulu Plus Live TV. It's got over 95 live channels. But Jimmy Butler's butler is old school. For your media social, sir. He doesn't realize Hulu Plus Live TV is like cable, only better. Buckets. You get Disney Plus and ESPN Plus all in one plan. Indeed. Watch live TV like Jimmy Butler. Where are you going? To cut the cord. Sitting outside for your morning coffee, the sounds of the birds and the feeling of that warm breeze around you. Hey, this is what summer is all about. Enjoy it now and get up to 60 months no interest. Experience the outdoors at Jordan's. Spring into savings this moving season with Pods. Save up to 25% now on moving and storage and see why Pods has been trusted with over 6 million moves. But don't wait. Save up to 25% now. Visit Pods.com today.
Welcome back to Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway. The Music City 150 under caution for the second time tonight. Tanner Reif getting into the tire barrier there at the entrance to pit road. Safety team trying to get that race car off the racetrack without doing any more damage to it than has already been done. This is what's taken a little extra time here. That car very awkwardly positioned next to that tractor tire. But, uh, there you see the AMR safety team on site. The tow truck is attached to that race car. They'll get it back off the racetrack and down onto the racetrack. While we are working under the second caution flag of tonight, why don't we go ahead and check in with the driver sitting in second position. There she is in that number 55 car with the big Yahoo logo on the hood. Isabella Robusto sitting in that second position. She is our bounty rookie spotlight driver here tonight. Isabella made her Arca Menard Series platform debut in the Arca Menard's West Combination out at Phoenix Raceway back in the month of March. Had a very impressive performance. Finished in the sixth position. Regular competitor in the Cars Tour in the late model stock car division. Making her first for Arca Menard's East appearance. She was supposed to make her debut in this race last year. Uh, unfortunately, was injured in a late model stock car crash down at Hickory Motor Speedway and had to sit out most of the 2023 season, but she has rebounded with a vengeance here in 2024. Looking really solid here tonight. Currently shown in the second position and looking to make a little history of her own. Of course, out west, we've had a couple of female winners. Haley Deegan and Gracie Trotter, both gone to victory lane in west races. Still looking for our first female winner here in the Arkham Menards. Could Isabella Robusto make that happen here tonight? She's got a pretty good shot. She's currently sitting in that second position. Of course, the best ever finish for a female driver in the East Series over the years. Kenzie Rustin finished second at Iowa Speedway back in 2014. So Isabel, I think she'd be okay with maybe tying that mark. But uh, every race car driver wants to be sitting in victory lane at the end of the night. Isabella looking to write some history of her own here tonight. As we continue to work under caution for the second time here this evening. And look at that, Gio Ruggiero back out on the racetrack in the number 20 car. Been a tough day for Gio. Started out really, really good. Gio qualified on the pole here tonight. Um, you see a little bit of red paint on the left rear quarter panel. He had a flat left rear tire going off into turn one. Backed it into the fence. But, uh, some quick work by Shannon Rush and the team has got him back out on the racetrack. 26 laps down, but I'll tell you what, every lap and every point going to matter as we get down to championship time at Bristol Motor Speedway in September. Gio and that team want to collect as many of those valuable points as they can. And it looks like he's in position to pick up yeah, maybe a handful of positions yet here tonight. If he picks up even five or six or seven points, that could be critical in that championship battle. Now, William Swalich gave up a bunch of points last race out at Dover Motor Speedway. We're gonna try to mitigate the damage here tonight. There is Gio Ruggiero. See, see the bodywork on that car. Definitely not as straight as it once was earlier tonight. Uh, Gio Ruggiero picking up the General Tire Pole Award earlier today. Uh, unfortunately, had a cut left rear tire while racing for position earlier tonight. Uh, that damage. Good to see that car back out on the racetrack. Again, every point, every lap matters here tonight. So Gio going to try to pick up as many positions as he can. 
Unfortunately, Geo not unless something really amazing happens tonight. Geo probably not going to go to Victory Lane here tonight. Let's take a look at some of the drivers who have gone to Victory Lane here in recent years at Nashville Fairground Speedway. Of course, last year we saw that uh, in the open. I wasn't able to talk to you about it, but uh, Luke Fenhouse picked up the win in overtime last year, a thrilling overtime finish, uh, which kind of prevented a three-peat for the Joe Gibbs Racing Team. Sammy Smith going to victory lane in 2022 and 2021. No race here in 2020, thanks to the pandemic, but uh, back in 2019, Christian Eckes went to victory lane. Of course, that was the Marco Millard's national tour event as we get the one to go signal. So we'll go back racing as we come to complete lap. Looks like we'll come back to complete lap 44. We're going to race to the midway point tonight, lap 75. We'll have a five minute break for these teams to make tire changes and adjustments. About 31 laps to go to the midway point. Pace truck back down onto pit road. William Sawalich and Isabella Robusto bring the field back to green. And look at this, Connor Zilich adding his name to the mix in that 28 car. Ooh, he's going to drift up the racetrack just a little bit. But Connor Zilich indeed taking over that second position. That is the team, that is the car that won this race last year. Luke Fenhouse at the wheel, and right now, Connor Zilich taking over that second position as he tries to track down William Sawalich. Look at that, Isabella not wanting to give up that second position without a fight. She's in attack mode off of turn two and down the backstretch. Zilich having a hard time keeping that car on the bottom of the racetrack, and Isabella, that 55 car, handling very well. She's able to keep those left side tires right down on the yellow line when she wants to. Of course, as soon as I say that, she drifts up the racetrack just a touch, but look at her right down on that yellow line in turns three and four. Battle for that second position. Connor Zilich picking up his first career. Arkham Menards East win at Dover Motor Speedway a couple of weeks back. This team Working on a two-race win streak. Pinnacle Racing Group picking up the win at Kansas Speedway with Connor Mozak at the wheel last weekend. Looking to go three in a row here tonight. And right now, Connor Zilich sitting in the second spot. Unfortunately, seeing the bumper of that 18 car getting a little smaller each and every lap. William Swallow stretching out a little bit of an advantage now, just over one second. The lead is this battle for second, working around leading the way, and then in the 31 car. Lead it back to the 13th position. Of course, it's already been a huge year for Connor Zillich. Picking up a class victory at the Rolex 24 at Daytona, backing it up with another victory at the 12 Hours of Sebring. And then scored a big win up at Dover Motor Speedway in just his second career Arkham and Art Series start. And everybody remembers his first start on the road course up at Watkins Glen International last season. Led the field coming off a of turn uh, turn 11 to the checkered flag in the rain. Got a little nudge from one of his buddies. Jesse Love gave him a shove and moved him up the racetrack. And Connor coming home second in that race. To go into victory lane in his second career Mark Menard Series start. Of course, that was a combination race, combination East and Park of an Art Series race. Here's a look at Isabella Robusto doing a fine job holding on to the third position here as we approach the 50 lap mark. Of course, 
this race 200 laps in distance the last several seasons. Track officials and series officials thinking, you know what, sometimes more isn't always better. I think we think the 150 lap distance a little bit better for the East Series here at Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway. Right now, lots of action here in the early going. As we've seen a couple of on track incidents and a lot of good racing for position here in the early going. A sense of urgency kicked up with the shorter race distance here tonight as we continue to follow this battle for second. Connor Zilich. Isabella Robusto. See those sparks out of the 55 car. That car bottoming out over the bumps down in turn one and two. Just about every lap. Real soft ride in that 55 car here tonight. Isabella Robusto in on. Connor Zilich as they work around Michael Maples in the 99 car. This battle for second picking up as we work lap 58. And look at this, Isabella Robusto trying to stick the nose inside Connor Zilich there off at turn two. Isabella had those left side tires down on the apron, had to get out of it just a little bit or she was gonna drift up into Connor Zilich. This battle for second. Continuing. Zilich holding on to that position in that sharp looking number 28 car for Pinnacle Racing Group. Shane Huffman calling the shots. As they work around DL Wilson there in the number 39. DL sitting in the ninth position. Costner Motorsports here tonight, and look at Isabella Robusto in that 55 car. Every time you think Connor Zillich going to stretch that advantage out, Isabella gets back on the horse, and look at this. She's going to dive it down to the inside of Connor Zillich, trying to pull side by side down the back stretch. Connor working to the outside as he approaches Cody Dennison in the 06, and Isabella, I thought she was going to try to make it three wide there for a second. Wow, some good racing here. We're in the mid stages of the Music City 150. There's a battle for position, the battle for fourth on the bottom right of the screen. Zachary Tinkle and Tyler Schofield going at it. These two have been running nose to tail just about all night long as well. Zachary finished fourth in the East standings in 2023. Tyler Schofield, one of our Bonnie rookie challengers here this season. Looking for his first career top 10 finish in just his second career start. And you talk about a team that had tough luck early going of the season. They've run couple of races with Tyler's dad Jeff behind the wheel. They made a series, uh, Arkham and Art Series start at both of the drafting tracks, Talladega and Daytona. Eliminated in the, in the early race crash there at Daytona. And of course, Tyler raced down at Five Flag Speedway in the East Series opener and had some mechanical issues sideline him early in the going. So Good to see that team logging some laps and doing the top five here tonight. Tyler Schofield with a great performance here in the early going. And many NASCAR fans who remember uh, some of the legendary names from the early, late 1970s, early 1980s. The Finney family in Florida. Brian Finney overseeing this race team. And these race cars to the racetrack every week, so good to see them having a solid performance here in the early going. There's 
Zachary Tinkle holding on to that fourth position. Zachary picked up the General Tire Spirit Award at Dover Motor Speedway for some of his off-track efforts in 2023. Zachary, of course, one of the just one of the coolest guys in the garage area. Every time you see him, he's got a big happy smile, big handshake for you. And he does a lot of work off the racetrack to uh, support animal shelters just about everywhere these series go. Ooh, look at that save right there by Tyler Schofield. Almost overcooked it down into turn one. That could be a Reese's sweet move of the race candidate right there. Nice save by Tyler Schofield in that 07 car. Don't forget, you can log on to ArcaRacing.com on Monday, 3 o'clock Eastern time to see who we decide is tonight's Reese's Sweet Move of the Race winner. Let's check in with another driver making his Arca Menard Series debut here tonight. There is Jason Alexander in that number 10 car. And you talk about a great story. Jason is a member of the North Carolina Army National Guard, part of the United, or excuse me, the University of North Carolina Charlotte Army ROTC program. He's going to graduate um, and will be a cadet private first class when he does graduate, and he will be a second lieutenant when he does walk across the stage. And he is making his series debut tonight. And look at this. I'm going to feel a little bit of heat from D.L. Wilson as we're talking about him. This is a battle for position, 8th and ninth on the racetrack. And D.L. going to sneak underneath Jason Alexander, but a really solid East Series debut for the driver of that number 10 car, one of the Andy Hillenberg Fast Track High Performance Racing entries here tonight. Uh, trying to hold on to that 8th position as we close in on the midway point. Of course, we should be seeing... The third caution flag of the night for the midway break. And there is that third caution. And just as the caution flag comes out, D.L. Wilson trying to sneak past to take over that eighth position. There's Denise Single on the flag stand, wave at the yellow flag. So this will, once we get everybody slowed down and captured behind the pace truck, we'll let everybody come on down pit road. Give them five minutes to change tires, add some fuel, make some adjustments, get the driver a nice cold drink. And we'll lock and load and run to the checkered flag. So William Sawalich holding on to the lead. Isabella Robusto, uh, actually, no, Connor Zilich sitting in the second spot. Isabella Robusto back in third. Zachary Tinkle and Tyler Schofield rounding out the top five. Been a solid debut tonight for Andrew Patterson and Caleb Costner rounding out the seven drivers on the lead lap. And I did see Jason Alexander get waved past the pace truck, so he will rejoin the tail of the lead lap in eighth. D.L. Wilson and Hunter Wright round out the top 10. We should see everybody come on down pit road the next time by. And we will move into that five minute halftime break. Haven't seen a bunch of William Sawalich tonight. We've been kind of looking at that battle for second. Does Sawalich comfortably in front? here at the midway point. And there is right behind him, tonight's General Tire Pole Award winner. You see that car all bandaged up. Been a rough night for Gio Ruggiero, but he is up to the 14th position, has already picked up four spots since rejoining the tail of the field about 30 laps ago. So William Sawal is gonna lead the field on down pit road. Pit crews will jump into action when the final car comes to a stop. They will get five minutes to complete all of the work they need to get done. Here's a good look from Pit Road. And the Joe Gibbs Racing Team, led by Crew Chief Matt Ross, will jump into action as soon as that final car pulls into its pit stall. 
there's the Connor Zilich. Pinnacle Racing Group crew ready to jump into action. Pit crews jumping into action. Everybody's got four fresh tires ready to bolt on. While the crews do jump into action, we're going to step away for a quick break. When we come back, we'll recap these pit stops and get set to go racing to the finish. You're watching the Music City 150 live from Nashville Fairground Speedway, live here on Flow Racing. Grilling and playing yard games, stories and s'mores around the fire pit. Soak up every minute of the season with your friends and family. Enjoy it now and get up to 60 months no interest. Experience the fun at Jordan's. Welcome back to Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway. Midway break time here in the Music City 150. William Sawalich scored as your leader in the Joe Gibbs Racing number 18. And, you know, we were talking earlier about the hit in the points that William took after uh, crashing out early at Dover Motor Speedway. Puts him 15 points back. Let's take a look at those point standings. This is, again, coming into tonight. So Gio Ruggiero came in tonight with a three-point lead over Connor Zilich. There's William Sawalich in third, 15 points back. Zachary Tinkle and D.L. Wilson rounding out the top five. We're going to see a shakeup here one way or the other tonight because Gio Ruggiero himself got into the turn one wall earlier tonight. He's going to give up a, uh, a, a chunk of points tonight. We don't know exactly how big. But it's looking pretty good for Connor Zilich tonight. If Connor can keep that car between the walls tonight, he should come out of here as your new points leader. So Wallach may be able to move into second. And uh, boy, there you see Gio is out of the car talking to.
crew chief Shannon Rush. So it looks like it is going to be an early night tonight for Gio Ruggiero. Can kind of gather what's being said there just based on body language. Uh, you can just tell the frustration is very evident by everybody on that team. They had a great qualifying run tonight. Gio has had a really good, solid start to the season. Won the season opener at Five Flags, finished second at Dover. Coming in with the points lead and going to leave here tonight outside the top ten. And uh, depending on how well William Sawalich does here tonight, could fall out of the top two in the point standings. There is William Sawalich. And there is Gio Ruggiero. Gio not only chasing the Arca Menards East Championship here in 2024, also uh, has announced intentions to compete for the ASA Stars National Tour Super Late Model Championship as well. Do that driving for Donnie Wilson Motorsports. Uh, you know what? Always a little pat on the back there. Always <laughs> tends to ease frustration and nothing Gio did tonight reflects the early end of their effort tonight. Yeah, an unfortunate flat tire going on in turn one. Sent that car backwards into the wall. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at some of the upcoming races here for the East Series in 2024 as the cars have come back to life and are behind the pace truck here. Next Saturday night, one of my favorite races of the season. Get to head back to the level pebble. The Dutch Boy 150 up at Flat Rock Speedway next Saturday night. Then we're going to head to Iowa Speedway on June 14th. And, of course, the final four races of the season, combination races with the Arkham and Art Series. June 14th at Iowa Speedway. July 19th at Lucas Oil Indianapolis Raceway Park. August 25th, the Milwaukee Mile. And September 19th, we will crown the East champion at Bristol Motor Speedway. The final four races of the season for the East Series will be on Fox Sports. Next Saturday night, we're going to see you right back here live on Flow Racing for the Dutch Boy 150. If you love tight fender to fender racing on a tiny little bull ring, you are going to love when we get back to Flat Rock next Saturday night. Tight little quarter mile, one of my favorite racetracks. I grew up up at Flat Rock Speedway. Always love getting back up to my home racetrack. So there is scoring back on screen. William Swalch and Connor Zilich will line up on the front row for this restart. Isabella Robusto and Zachary Tinkle back in row two. Tyler Schofield and Andrew Patterson. How about that run for Andrew Patterson in that 96th car for Man Motorsports? Caleb Costner rounding out the seven cars on the lead lap. As we should have one to go signal this time around. We should come back green with 69 laps to go here at Nashville Fairground Speedway. Here's Denise Engel with the one to go signal on the flag stand. Denise is the full female chief starter for a nationally touring motorsports series here in the United States. Always good to have her on the flag stand. There's a good look at Andrew Patterson in that 96 car. Man Motorsports fielding two entries here tonight. He is teammates with Hunter Wright in the 95. Hunter, unfortunately, a couple of laps off the pace in the 95 car, but still back in the 10th position. As the pace truck about to pull down into the infield, William Sawalich and Connor Zilich bringing them back to green. 
surprise. So Wallach with a great restart. He's going to drive off into the lead down into turn one. Let's see what happens in this battle for second. Isabella Robusto trying to stick the nose to the inside. A little contact off a of turn two. And Robusto trying to steal second from Connor Zilich. Can she make it stick? Moves it. Move Isabella Robusto to second on this restart. And what a power move by the driver of that number 55. That could be a contender for the Reese's Sweet move of the race here tonight. Great restart by Isabella Robusto. And look at this battle. Andrew Patterson in that 96 car putting some heat on Tyler Schofield. The battle for fifth. Want to give a shout out to all three of those race cars battling for position. Zachary Tinkle, Tyler Schofield, and Andrew Patterson. All three of those cars still on the lead lap battling for position. Great race tonight for Zachary Tinkle in that number 11. Tyler Schofield trying to get that bad luck monkey off of their back. And Andrew Patterson in his East debut sitting in that sixth position. And now Patterson going to fall into the tire tracks there of Tyler Schofield down the back stretch. Looks like Zachary Tinkle going to get a little bit of breathing room between these two. As, ooh, look at this battle for position. Picking up right where they left off. Jason Alexander going to dive to the inside of D.L. Wilson to retake the eighth position. And you know, we talked about Jason Alexander as we see some debris laying there in the middle of the back stretch. As there's Caleb Costner, and I want to give a shout out to Caleb as well. Caleb still on the lead lap back in seventh position. As he works his way to the outside of Cody Dennison. Costner, a retired law enforcement officer, has started his own cleaning company to help fund his racing exploits. And there's Cody Dennison in the 06 car for Wayne Peterson Racing. We'll be having a good run tonight in 11th position. Here's a good look at that number 93 car, Caleb Costner, as we do see the yellow flag. and. I'm going to bet you that yellow flag is going to be for the debris we saw sitting down in the middle of the backstretch there the last couple of laps. It's William Swalich. Yep, there is that piece of debris that we've been seeing. Yeah, what about that? Looks like a piece of metal. That could be a crush panel or something from one of these race cars coming out. These race tires do not react well to sheet metal laying on the racetrack. Zachary, there you go, Zachary. Missed that piece of debris right there. And we will send the safety crew out to retrieve that. This should be a good break for Jason Alexander in the number 10 car should be the recipient of the free pass here and that should allow him to rejoin the tail end of the lead lap and indeed he is going to circulate past the pace truck here and get a lap back was just about to mention jason and dl wilson going to battle you know we mentioned that jason alexander is an active member of the united states military well dl himself D.L. Wilson himself, a, an active law enforcement officer in the great state of Texas. Check out this pace truck, folks. How about that? United States Air Force colors. That yeah, looks hungry. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but a nice tribute to the United States Air Force.
Why don't we go ahead and step away for another quick break? And when we're back, we'll reset the field and hopefully race to the checkered. Life is a journey, and your debit card is the ultimate companion. Whether you're fueling up with your morning brew or at the pump, pay with ease using your partner's bank debit MasterCard. It's your trusty sidekick at the grocery store. Swipe and savor your buying power. Need cash on the fly? With ultimate checking in your partner's bank debit MasterCard, we'll refund the ATM service fee for you. Make every moment count with ultimate checking at Partners Bank and discover how easy banking can be. Partners Bank, the bank that listens. Grilling and playing yard games, stories and s'mores around the fire pit. Soak up every minute of the season with your friends and family. Enjoy it now and get up to 60 months no interest. Experience the fun at Jordan's. Live on Flow Racing. Lights should go off on the pace truck this time around. William Sawalich, Isabella Robusto on the front row. Connor Zilich and Zachary Tinkle. A career run tonight for Zachary Tinkle in that number 11 car. They will be back in row number two. Andrew Patterson and Tyler Schofield back in row three. Boy, just see the look of dejection there on Gio Ruggiero. He should be out there battling for the win here tonight, but unfortunately got into the wall very early on. And a short night for the guy who led the series championship standings coming into tonight. Still has to wait and see just how bad the damage is going to be in those point standings. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at what happened. For those of you who joined us late, keep an eye on the car fourth in line. A little tail happy there off of turn four, and you're going to see why. Flat left rear tire right there, and bang into the outside wall. A lot of damage to the left side of that car, and it's going to eventually cut his night short. Gio Ruggiero likely going to finish back in the 14th position. I don't think there's anybody still running behind him. So yeah, Gio Ruggiero going to finish 14th tonight. And uh, going to give up a bunch of points, not only to Connor Zilich, who came in second, but to William Sawalich, third in the standings. And William has been dominant so far here tonight. As we get ready to come back to green with 54 laps remaining. 96 laps in, 54 yet to go. And look at this on this restart. Here comes Connor Zilich to the inside of Isabella Robusto. He's going to retake that second spot. But Isabella with the crossover move off of turn two can't make it work. Boy, she has been feisty on these restarts tonight. Isabella Robusto, even though she gave up that spot. Just a spectacular move. As this battle outside, not outside, at the back of the top five, Tyler Schofield going to take that fifth position back from Andrew Patterson. These two have been going at it for the last 20, 25 laps or so. Tyler Schofield back up into the top five. Andrew Patterson back to sixth. Ooh, that was a close call there for Caleb Costner in the 93 car. Just about 
Got up into the outside wall. You can see that car really tight there for Caleb Coster through turns three and four there. Way up the racetrack again. He is really working that steering wheel. Caleb Coster in the 93 car currently shown in seventh. It's not a battle for position. Cody Dennison in that 06 car back in 10th. Couple of laps off the pace. Boy, Caleb really looks like he is really turning that steering wheel to the left, trying to get that car to turn. Way up the racetrack. And there's his teammate, D.L. Wilson, in the 39 car. The tail end of that line. Here's a good look at D.L. in that 39 automobile. He is currently shown in 12th position, a couple of laps off the pace. This is a battle for position. Michael Maples in the 99 car. In 11th. So the 06, the 99, and the 39, all racing for 10th, 11th, and 12th. that Caleb Costner in the 93 car started his own cleaning company to help fund his racing activities as we jump back up to this battle for second and it looked like Isabella was about to give the chrome horn to Connor Zilich right there Connor with a mirror full of Isabella Robusto this battle for second really starting to heat up as we are now inside of 50 laps to go Isabella Robusto, the Bounty Rookie Spotlight driver tonight. We mentioned she had to sit out most of the 2023 season after a concussion in a late model stock car crash at Hickory Motor Speedway last year. Spent much of the year recuperating and rehabbing. Made her Arkham and Art Series platform debut at Phoenix Raceway in March. Finished sixth out in Phoenix. And she has looked really, really strong here tonight. Racing with Connor Zilich for second. And that 55 car looks like it might be just a tick quicker than Connor Zilich at this point. Zilich up the racetrack. Here comes Il Isabella trying to pull side by side off a of two. See her sawing on that steering wheel. Almost got up into Connor. Kicking that car sideways. She is really thrashing that car trying to get down and take that second spot. Great battle for position. And we have seen Sparks off of that 55 car down in turns one and two all night long. Got the left side tires down on the flat of the racetrack trying to help that 55 car turn. And this is where that car has been really strong through turns one and two. And off a of two down the back stretch, and she is right there. Again, trying to put the nose of the 55 to the inside of Zilich. Can she make it work down into turn one? She's going to draw even and clear a move. Isabella Robusto to second, Connor Zilich back to third. Another power move that could be our Reese's sweet move of the race. Isabella Robusto with a couple of nominations here tonight. And look at her pull away from Connor Zilich. There's a look down on pit road. Teams keeping an eye on that intense battle for position. That's Shane Huffman and the Pinnacle Racing Group team keeping an eye on that 28 car. As they work around Rita Goulet in the 31.
battle for second seemingly calming down for the moment. While we have a chance, we're going to try to focus in on that car they just worked around. Rita Goulet in the 31. There's a good look at Rita Goulet. You know, we don't talk a lot about Rita, but she is marking National Peace Officers Memorial Day. That's coming up on May 15th. She's got the names of 137 law enforcement officers who perished in the line of duty in 2023 on her race car here tonight, including an officer she worked with in the Tuscaloosa, Alabama Police Department, a young man, Officer Garrett Crumby, who was killed in action back in March of 2023. Rita, an active member of the law enforcement community herself, nationalpolice.org on the side of that race car. And, uh, what a nice thing to do to memorialize uh, the police officers and peace officers who have uh, made the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty. Uh, Rita right now sitting back in the 13th position, doing a good job here tonight. You know, not really getting into anybody's way, just out there logging some laps. And, uh, having a really solid day. Been a tough start to the season for uh, her and her husband, Tim owners of the Rise Motorsports team, but uh, Rita having a good night here tonight, sitting back in the 13th position. And, uh, see if she can't get up there and contend for a top 10 somewhere before the season is over. There's a good look at Zachary Tinkle. Zachary, we talked about a couple of times already tonight, sitting in the fourth spot. And how about that? Andrew Patterson in the 96 car. Closing in ever so slightly. series debut. Let's take a look at the lap times. Last time, Andrew a couple of tenths quicker than Zachary. So right now, that 96 car looking like it is starting to come in. Zachary starting to uh, fight the handle a little bit. Still 30 laps to go. Long ways to go. A lot of racing yet to go here tonight. In the Music City 150. But this right here, the battle for fourth and fifth. Again, part of a two-car effort for the Man Motorsports team. Mark Bolton, the team owner. The team looking to run, uh, I believe, eight races with Andrew throughout the course of the year. Announced that program earlier in the week. Of course, they've got Pro Late Model Ace Hunter Wright in their second car here today. Number 95, Hunter Wright. Still tracking down Zachary Tinkle. There is a good look at Hunter Wright in that number 95 car. We've talked about him a couple of times tonight. Hunter started the season with this team at Five Flags Speedway. This is scheduled to be only his uh, his only second and final start of the season with this team, but uh, you never know, maybe he could jump back in somewhere throughout the rest of the season. Had a really good run down at Five Flags Speedway, and uh, a local veteran here at the fairgrounds. We could drive this racetrack blind for him if you asked him to. He's pretty right now in that ninth position. Unfortunately, a couple of laps down, the car looks like it has some speed as he races on the racetrack. Tyler Schofield, and just as we're talking about him, there is William Savalich to put another lap down. William with the 18 car. Looking to give Joe Gibbs Racing its third win in the last four races here at Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway. Could be going for, oh, what, five in a row, if not for that last lap pass last year by Luke Fenhaus. By Sammy Smith in 2021 and 2022. Well, my math uh, is not, it should be four. I was not a math major in college, folks, so don't hold it against me. 
I'm not a, a math guy by any stretch of the imagination. I only have only have so many fingers and toes. Next week, live here on Flow Racing, you can see him take on the regulars of the Cars Tour, late model stock cars, and on this North Wilkesboro Speedway, that will be up, I believe, on Thursday night. And then he's going to make the trip up to Flat Rock to defend his win. Boy, 150. Oh, look at that. Some close quarters racing as William finally catching the back of the five. Andrew Patterson not wanting to give up that lead lap status without a fight. Uh, indeed, he does allow William Swalich to work to the inside. And Patterson going to try to follow him around. Zachary Tinkle. Zachary going to move to the bottom of the racetrack. Oh, smart move there by Zachary Tinkle to not give up the bottom of the racetrack there for the leader. Zachary still holding on to fourth. And Patterson still trying to work his way past. Seems like these two have been going at it for about the last hundred laps or so. Top 10 finishes to start the season. Finished eighth at Five Flags Speedway and a really solid 10th place finish at Dover a couple of weeks back. Looking for his first career top five finish. And, uh, it's got a pretty good shot at it. Just 15 laps to go, and Zachary sitting in fourth position is. Second place, Isabella Robusto, working the inside. She's going to put Andrew Patterson a lap down. And Zachary, look for Zachary to do the same thing. Really smart move there by Zachary Tinkle to give the top side of the racetrack up. He does not want to open the door for Andrew Patterson to take that spot. Smart veteran move there by Zachary Tinkle in the number 11. As he allows the top two to work around not give up any position on the racetrack to the guy he is still battling for position with. I think we're going to see Connor Zilich in position to pass these two cars before the race is over as well. So we'll have to see if Connor catches this group and if that is able to mix up this battle for fourth position. Right now, this is the best battle on the racetrack. To hold off Andrew Patterson claiming career best finish here tonight. Ooh, Zachary up the racetrack just a little bit. Ooh, he slammed the door shut there on Andrew Patterson as we see some. We might have seen some foam flying through the air down there. This battle for position continuing on as we are now inside of 10 laps to go. Here at Nashville Fairground Speedway, William Sawalich with the lead over Isabella Robusto. There is third place Connor Zilich trying to work his way past this battle for fourth and fifth. Connor Zilich coming into tonight, second in the Arca Menards East standings. But right now, right now, Connor Zilich looking like he could take over the Arkham Arts East Championship lead tonight. Still eight to go as we're going to stack them three wide going down into turn one. 
Three to Goulet on the bottom. Zachary Tinkle in the middle and Connor Zilich to the top. And it all worked out. Now Michael Maples right there trying to get out of the way. Michael trying to do the right thing and get out of the way of the leaders. Zachary Tinkle going to follow him through. It's getting a little dicey here inside of the final 10 laps. As it looks like that battle for fourth and fifth going to cool off just a touch. We have just six laps to go here at Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway. There's the two man motorsports cars running nose to tail. Andrew Patterson in the 96, Hunter Wright in the 95. Sawalich crossing the start finish line to complete lap 146, just four more times around for William Sawalich. This guy absolutely dominated the Arkham Arts East in 2023. One half, four of the eight races. Has not gone to victory lane in an East race yet here in 2024. Two and a half laps away from picking up his fifth career East Series victory. Finished second in the season opener at Five Flags Speedway to Gio Ruggiero. Was battling for the lead last time out at Dover Motor Speedway when he and Connor Zilich got together. Liam, for the first time in his career, finished outside the top 10 when he caught the outside wall. Monster Mile, hungry for race cars. The last time out is Denise Single waving the white flag. There's Isabella Robusto in the 55 car holding on to that second position. No heat at all for William Sawalich as he works his way through turns three and four off of the final corner. Looking at the checkered flag, William Sawalich going to go to victory lane here in the Music City. Isabella Robusto going to tie the record for best career finish by a female driver. She's going to cr come across the line in second position. And Connor Zilich coming home third tonight. But it was all William Sawalich and the Joe Gibbs Racing Team here tonight. Sawalich picking up his first victory of the season. He will go to victory lane here at... Nashville Fairground Speedway. The fireworks going off overhead as Swalich pulling down into victory lane. Doing a little burnout. Celebrating in style here tonight. As he picks up his fifth career East Series victory. We'll have to see how the points shake out here tonight. See if... See if he's able to uh, knock. I don't think... I think Connor Zillich going to come out tonight uh, in the points lead. William Sawalich is going to jump into second here this evening as he makes one final victory lap. We will hopefully send it downstairs and get a quick word with our winner here tonight. There's the guy who came home third here this evening, Connor Zilich, in that number 28 car. Connor with a 
Very solid performance. Should walk on here tonight with the championship lead. Let's uh, head on down to the front stretch and see if we can get a word with William Sawalich, our winner here at the Music City 150. See what you think about this thing. Oh, steps are the other way. We'll pull him up here. I bet he can get some help. Showing some love to the crew. We threw him a curveball and put steps at the other end of the stage. He's going to be, they say he's going to be playing that all the way home. Mr. William Swalich, what do you think about the race here, this big Music City 150 tonight? Yeah, no, it was a really good race. We had a really good Starkey Sound Gear Toyota Camry. Uh, special happy Mother's Day to my mom. Uh, a little early gift for you. Uh, my engineer, Daniel, uh, just uh, had some kids and wish he could have been here for this, but uh, he put in a lot of hard work for this, so glad we could get it done for both of them. Um, and... Yeah, just, just really great to be here. Love this track. Won the All-American 400. Lost this race last year on a restart and uh, redeemed ourselves on them. So, it's good. I was about to say, you, you're pretty familiar with this place. This ain't your first rodeo here at Nashville. And so, do you think that helped coming in the race tonight? That You kind of had some experience. Maybe some of the other guys did. Yeah, for sure. Just getting a sense for the track and what it does when it turns down. And we really got it good in practice to make sure it was good for the race. And it for sure was. So, can't thank these guys enough. Well, it, it looked like for a minute that you wasn't sure that there was a race going on. It was like you were just out there turning some hot laps. There wasn't many guys could keep up with you, even stay on the same uh, on the same pace with you at all, even stay on the same lap with you. Is that one of the most dominating performances you've ever put on? Uh, we've had a few, which is uh, good to say, but I had fun doing it. Well, let's hear it for him tonight, fans. Your winner, the Arca East uh, 150 Music City 150 night, Mr. William Sawalich. Thanks, Joe. Fans, as you follow. How about that, William Sawalich? We can't wait to see you the next time we go green at the Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway once again, June 27th. That Thursday night, it will be the Battle of Broadway. How about that, William Sawalich celebrating with that custom guitar down in Victory Lane, picking up his first Archibald East victory of the season. And you talk about tightening up the points battle. Did a little bit of math. I know math isn't my strong suit, but, uh, you know, spreadsheets are a wonderful thing. Connor Zilich going to come out of tonight with the points lead. William Sawalich going to jump into second, just five points back. And Gio Ruggiero came into tonight as the leader. He's going to drop to third, eight points out of the lead. So a big shakeup in the Archibald East Championship standings as uh, William Sawalich putting himself right back into championship contention here tonight. And what a beautiful trophy that they give the winners here at Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway. There's that Matt Ross led Joe Gibbs racing team. There is our second place driver tonight, Isabella Robusto, getting some correct congratulations from team owner Billy Venerini. There's Big Bill Venerini down there as well. You saw him pull up on the scooter. Two-time Arkham and Art Series champion in his own right. And 
Isabella with a phenomenal performance here tonight, tying the record for best career finish by a female driver, and she did it in her first career series start. Great performance tonight by Isabella Robusto to come home in second. It was a great night of racing here at Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway. Congratulations. Go out to William Sawalich and the entire Joe Gibbs Racing team. Don't forget, folks, Flow Racing is your exclusive home for Arkham and Art Series East and West Racing, as well as the NASCAR Modified Tour. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the show. We'll see you all back here next week from Flat Rock Speedway for the final standalone race for the East Series in 2024. Until then, so long, everybody.